Hey guys, welcome to the next part of the Angular 2 Firebase application series. I apologize that it's been a while since my last video. I actually had uh, some technical issues. I lost the, the virtual machine that I had this project on and uh, it just took me a while to get back up and running and I've been really busy so uh, I apologize for that but in the last video we left off with um, we're able to authenticate with Firebase uh, we're able to view our listings we're able to add a listing and we can see the details page so all we really need to do now is create the edit functionality and the delete functionality and hopefully we can do that in this project in this video alright now there's a couple small things that I noticed um, one is that when we upload uh, a listing the location gets set to the title and I'm sure that a lot of you guys have noticed that so to fix that all you have to do is go to add listing and go to uh, let's see is it this yeah add listing dot component dot ts and you can see that city is set to this dot title so you just want to change that to this dot city and that'll fix that issue another thing is with the service if we look at firebase service and we have this Firebase list observable and we're saying any array that's fine but this object shouldn't be an array so we actually have to get rid of these brackets right there okay and then we'll save that alright now I, I did have some issues with uh, editing and image uploading to Firebase and I haven't figured it out yet so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold off on actually uh, being able to update the image okay because I'm gonna have to look into that and you guys that know what you're doing feel free to figure it out and uh, you know let people know in the comment section I want this to be kind of a community effort where you guys can help each other because uh, I have a lot going on and I'm not able to just answer every everybody's questions and issues um, so you know work together and try to figure it out if there's something wrong and not just for this for any of my videos alright and a lot of you guys do do that and I appreciate that and I like to see you know people helping other people out alright so let's go ahead and get started here now first thing we'll do is we're gonna uh, edit this link which is in the listing component dot uh, HTML and we have the edit right here so what we'll do is get rid of the href and let's replace it with uh, router link okay we're gonna set that to set of brackets and that's gonna go to uh, slash edit listing and actually we want another slash there and then we're just going to concatenate onto this listing dot money sign key that'll give us the unique ID for that firebase listing alright so we'll save that and then we have to create that route so we're gonna go to app.module.ts and let's see we're already bringing in the edit listing component so we just need to add a route right here so I'm just gonna copy this actually I'll copy this one because we do need the ID as well but this is gonna be edit dash listing and then this will be edit listing component alright and that's that let's save it and now we should actually be able to navigate to the page if I click edit and you can see edit listing works so what we want to do now is fetch this ID from the URL and then get that specific listing uh, so that we can pre-fill the the form the edit form so let's open up edit listing component.ts and also edit listing component HTML and I guess we can put the the, the form in first which is going to be pretty identical to add listing component so let's copy that alright we'll paste that in and let's change this to edit listing and the function is going to be on edit submit and what I'm going to do is just comment out the image because like I said I haven't exactly figured that out yet so we'll go like that and I think that's it ng model is going to basically uh, bind it to the property so just leave that and let's go ahead and save alright so now we're gonna go to edit listing component TS and we're gonna bring in a couple things we wanna bring in the firebase service okay. 
and that's going to be from dot dot slash dot dot slash services slash firebase dot service and that should actually be a capital F all right and then we want to bring in let's see what else are we bringing in we're bringing in the router so let's say router we also want activated route and then params because we need to get that ID parameter and those are going to be from angular router Okay, and we need to add these as a dependency in the constructor. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's do uh, private Firebase and actually Firebase service. Set that to Firebase service. Okay, we also need the router. Set that to router. And we also need route. And we can set that to activated route. Activated. Okay, so now that we added those, uh, let's see, we want to get the ID from the URL, and we're going to do that in the ng on init. So let's say this.id and set that to this.route.snapshot.params. And then we're going to get the ID param. All right, now we're getting an error because we need to add ID as a property. All right, we're going to have quite a few properties here. I'm just going to grab those and paste those in. Okay, and let's see. Uh, now we're going to want to call a server the the get listing details function from the service, which we've already created for the details page. So this dot Firebase service dot get listing details. Okay, and then that's going to get passed in the ID, and then that's a, an observable. So we want to subscribe to it, and we should get the listing. Okay, and then we just want to, for now, let's just console log the listing. Okay, so if we go over here, and uh, let's see, down here we have an object, and there it is, pool mansion. So what we want to do now is we want to set these values coming in from the uh, observable. We want to set those to these properties which are, are bound to the ng model in the form so that those are prefill. All right, so let's say this dot title and set that to listing dot title. All right, I'm just going to grab the rest of them. Uh, let's see. Paste those in. And notice I'm not doing the image. Uh, I guess we could. No, we'll just leave it out. All right, so that should set the form values. Let's save that. Okay, so now you can see they're filled in. Now we want to add the on edit submit function because that's what's going to get called when the form is submitted. And in here we're going to want to create an object from uh, all the properties. So we want to say let listing equal to an object with the title, owner, city, bedrooms, price, and type. And then what we want to do is call an update function from the service and include that listing. Okay, so this dot Firebase service dot update uh, or update listing. And then we'll get we'll pass in this dot ID and pass in that listing object we just created. All right, and then we're just going to navigate. So this dot router dot navigate, and we're going to go to listings slash listings. Okay, so now we need to create this update listing function in the service. So let's go there. All right. Oh, one other thing that I want to do 
is um, this listing right here where we're setting it. Oops. What the hell? This get listings function, we're setting this dot listings to this right here, which is returning the um, all the listings. I want to put this in the constructor so that we don't have to repeat this for the update. So let's cut that and just put that right in the constructor. Okay, so now uh, let's go down here under the add listing and we'll create update listing. Okay, and this is going to take an ID and the listing object. And then from here we can just say return this dot listings dot update and then just pass in that ID and the listing. All right, and that should do it. Let's save. Okay, so that should fetch the data. All right, and then let's see if we can change this. So the city, let's change that to Miami. And let's submit. Okay, and let's go back to Pool Mansion. And now the city is Miami. Okay, so we can now edit this stuff. Let's change the bedrooms to 12. We'll change the price to 13 million or, or yeah, 13. And submit. And you can see 12, 13 million. So we can now edit our uh, our properties. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to be able to delete them. Okay, so we have a delete button. We want to go to the listing.component.html and let's get rid of this href here and let's put an event right here. So click and then that's going to call, um, let's see, let's just say on delete click. Okay, save that and then let's go to listing.component.ts and create that function. So we're going to want to call a service function called delete listing. So this dot Firebase service dot delete listing. All right, and we're going to pass along this dot ID. And then after that, we'll just navigate. And we're going to navigate to listings. Okay, so save that. Now let's go back to the service and create delete listing. Okay, that gets passed an ID. And then from here, uh, let's see, we're just going to return this dot listings dot remove and pass along the ID and that should do it. So let's go ahead and go to let's say the pool mansion and click delete and now it's gone. All right so we can now update uh, we can add edit and delete. Wait what is this down here? Firebase storage invalid argument looks like an uncaught Exception. Uh, I'm not really sure why that we're getting that. If I reload, do we get it? No. Huh. I'm not sure what that was about. From what I've worked with, Firebase storage is kind of difficult. Um, but you know, if you guys can shed any light on it, feel free to uh, you know express that in the comments. Now, as far as the series, I'm not exactly sure when uh, when I'll get the next video out I just I wanted to get this one out because I wanted it to at least have create read update and delete functionality okay so uh, what I'm thinking about doing next is making it so that only the particular user that added the listing can uh, edit it and delete it and so on um, and we can set permissions in Firebase for that all right, because this this is isn't a production application. Okay, it's not at that level. It's just for learning purposes. 
um, trying to get you familiar with Angular 2 and working with Firebase. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, I don't know when the next video will be, but uh, I, I do have it on my list. All right, so thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.